Hey guys, so, you know, before we get started with this commentary, I, I guess I just want to make something known. So, you know, I just checked my computer um, this morning and, you know, I was just about to delete the um, campaign for Advanced Warfare that I've uploaded. And when I went over the episode, um, you know, you know how I get like this little red, like, well, I guess if you're, if you're a YouTuber and you ever, ever get a copyright strike on one of your videos, there's like a underneath your title and you know, like your edit, edit button or edit shortcut, you have this little red text that says blocked worldwide or blocked for copyright or it's it's in bright red text well that's not there anymore and now you can watch the video it's just not monetized anymore which I thought it was gonna do from the very beginning you know like Black Ops 2 Halo those all have you know not they're not monetized and but you know they, they can you can we can watch them but you know I just think it's kinda weird cuz you know I was just about to delete them and you know it's only been a, d a day or two and you know the copyright strike is gone you can watch the video now it doesn't have, you know, the YouTube sad, like, fa not YouTube sad face, but like YouTube, like, whatever face saying that Activision has blocked this video or has prohibited it. And so, you know, I'm just really cautious, guys. I just want your opinion. Should I make these public? Because, you know, I've recorded most of the campaign already. I'm, you know, there's, I just was about to delete them because, you know, I wasn't going to upload them. But, you know, now that the copyright strike's gone, I can. And, you know, but I just want, I don't want to take any chances, guys. I don't want the chance that, you know, my YouTube channel could get taken down for you know, bad standing in the YouTube community, and I don't want that, you know, I always acknowledge third-party content, and I never say anything's not mine when it's not, you know, on, every, on the end of every video, if you look in our description, I always put the, the studio that made it, what the game is, and saying that it all belongs to them, and if we violate our our um, our fair, our right use, or fair use, um, I guess, um, what was it, it's, it's, like a, it's like a copyright document, and we get to use, like, fair use, or something like that, where we get to use it, like, for our means, but we say it's theirs, so, you know, I always put that in the bottom of our, of our like, description saying that, you know, it's in, it's their property, we're just playing it. So, you know, I just want your guys' opinion, should I really take the chance? But, anyway, guys, uh, moving on, um, <laughs> I guess um, over the past couple days, you know, I've had the, you know, I got the I got the, um, the Day Zero release. So, you know, I've been playing Advanced Warfare on my free time for the past uh, three days, and... Uh, I've been getting mixed results, guys. Um, and I've, you know, I think that's kind of mixed over into like what exactly I'm going to be doing for Advanced Warfare. Because you know, originally it was supposed to be weapon guys, and I still want to do weapon guys, guys. I still want to give you guys advice on how to use the weapons and what classes go really well with it. But you know, as I keep playing Advanced Warfare, I keep getting more and more confused. You know, with how exactly I can give you guys proper advice on how to play the game, right? Because you know, there's just so many things, and you know. In, in in the past, you know, Call of Duty, I'll just say this, Call of Duty maps have never, like, never been as complicated as they are in Advanced Warfare. Advanced Warfare has taken map structure to a completely new level, you know, with the whole exosuit thing and the boost function, now you can get to these places, but that also makes it extremely difficult for people like me to want to, who want to make guides, you know, to tell you how to play because, you know, just there's just so many openings everywhere. Like, you know, Solar Solar and Riot, you know, are, are to me, are the most simple maps. Um, if you don't know what those maps are, I guess <laughs> just uh, look them up on Call of Duty Wiki or something like that or some something out there. But they're basically the simplest maps I could find. Um, they only have two or three levels on them. Most of it's on leveled action. And, you know, that got me thinking, maybe I should make map guides, you know, instead. You know, I've already drawn up a plan of how I'm going to categorize them, you know, big, small. But then I'm also going to say um, Vantage, meaning that, you know, it has a, has a lot of floors and that you want to get as high as possible to get the best view leveled where you know you want to um, you know you fight on a one-on-one -on -one, like eye level like most of the action takes place on the ground floor and then you know mixed where you're gonna like deploy strategies from either and there are gonna be other things too I think I'm gonna include a fourth category in there where you know you want to stay away like from the top floor because you know the top floor leaves you exposed because it's not high enough off the ground um, what was it green ba no it's like terrace or something like that it's like you're it's like you're on the top of a hotel and it's like very Asian-esque kind of thing. I'll, I'll, I'll go into these more in detail later, guys. But basically, like, there are two buildings at the very end of the spawn. And they're basically at eye level with the other with the other structures in the middle of the map. So if you go on top of these structures, you're basically leaving yourself open to everybody. And, you know, these little spaces and, like, these little rooftops in the middle of the map aren't high enough off the ground where you can see them, but they can't see you. Like, they can see you, and they will shoot you. And I've had many experiences like that. So I might include a fourth category if I make map guides saying that you want to stay on ground floor as much as possible because you know going on top floor just leaves you exposed I don't really know guys I'm just I'm really taking a shot in the dark with these guys but you know I will I will get onto weapon guys you know eventually um I'm still just trying to understand the game guys you know this is really complicated um the gameplay you're watching right now shows me going on a 17 gun streak 
But I think that's a fluke, guys. I think I just got lucky, you know? I'm still trying to understand, like, the game mechanics and how to properly use the boost function, like, to, you know, to, to make sure you guys win your, your gunfights in this game. And, you know, if I don't understand the game as much as I should, I don't feel I have a right to make you guys guides and, and like, mislead you, because, you know, I don't want that. And I know you guys really don't want that, because you guys want to know how to play the game as well as possible. And I want that, too. So, you know, I want to give myself the proper time, so... You know, since I'm not going to be making weapon guides, I think I'll make map guides instead. Um, leave a comment down below if you think that's a good idea. Um, all the maps in this game are like, there's so much, so many differences between them. They're all their unique maps, and they each have their very own like playstyle. And you know, it's just, uh, it's very confusing. And I think I chose the worst time to jump into making guides, you know, for Call of Duty because they just took like 10 leaps forward. And I wasn't ready for that, you know, <laughs> I guess you could say that was my fault, I should have prepared for this a little more. Especially with all the, like, the rumors going around that it was like, oh, this, there's a uh, Titanfall 2, or oh, Halo 6 is getting released, or I don't, I don't know, guys, but, you know, I'll just do, um, I'll do map guides for now, um, I guess from there I'll just, um, I'll release one, I think I'll do Solar or something like that, and from there, I guess we'll just see how it goes, you know, um, <laughs> I know, I, ho I hope I can, you know, give you guys something good to look forward to, but, you know, like I said, the maps are just really complicated, and each one has its own play style, and, you know, Call of Duty's included new, like, game modes. Now they have Uplink, Momentum, and then you have the basics like, like, Domination and, and Capture the Flag. So, you know, I'm going, I'm obviously going to go into detail saying, you know, which, like, going into, like, the objectives, because, you know, Domination plays a lot different than TDM. You don't really need as many vantage points, because, you know, in TDM, you try to find everyone as quickly as possible and try to you know, get them and get points, and so you you engage them on, on eye level, you know, it's a one-on-one, -on -one. you either go into their territory, or they go into yours, and so, you know, you fight on a, uh, usually, you, usually you fight on fair grounds, you'll find a camper here or there, but, you know, TDM tends to be, you know, more fast-paced than, you know, domination, domination, a lot of people like to hang around the objective, and so you could jump into the objective and get shot in the back, get shot in the bottom, get shot in the top, so, you know, each of them has their very own play style, and, you know, it might take, take me a little while, but, you know, I just want to make sure I give you guys, you know, the best quality, you know, guide I can. So, you know, I'm going to go into in-depth about each of the game modes. Maybe I'll group them together, like I'll group TDM and Free For All together, you know, with Kill Confirmed. And then I'll have Domination, Hardpoint, Capture the Flag, all those together in their own category. And, you know, but, you know, I'll see. Like I said, guys, I'm taking a shot in the dark. And, you know, I'm sorry this commentary has been so long. But, you know, I just have to get these thoughts out there because, you know, you guys are watching them. And, you know, you guys should determine how exactly this is going to go because... You know, you guys are using up your precious time watching these, and I just want to make sure you guys are spending your time well, so. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks again for dropping by, like always. You know, I really do appreciate all the support, and yeah, just put it down below what you think I should do, and, you know, I'll do my best to make it happen, so. Anyway, guys, thanks again, like always. Have an awesome day. See you guys in the next video. Just added a few zeros to those bonus checks, gentlemen. Good work. Oh yeah, and uh, by the way, guys, um, the Goliath sucks. So if you're ever gonna, use, if you're ever thinking about using the Goliath, uh, don't use it. Um, I think you can tell pretty well from this gameplay. It did not go well for me. Um, if you get to a point where you're in a Goliath and you're running away from the enemy, I think that's a problem. But I'll go into detail about that if I ever do a kill streak, guys. So anyway, guys, uh, this is really the end. Um, like, <laughs> have an awesome day again, and I'll see you guys in the next video for real this time.